right, 8.30 is your time. Jeff's going to have a quick check of weather when we come back just in just a little bit. And Cheryl will update us on traffic. In the meantime, our next guest is as comfortable posting you up in the paint as she is walking down the runway. She's the first woman from Belarus to play in the WNBA, and now she's a member of our Atlanta Dream. Here with us this morning, Atlanta Dream Center, Yelena Luchenka. Elena, good morning. What a pleasure to have you here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, first of all, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. Yeah. So how are you liking the city so far? I love the city. Um, I'm a city girl. Oh, okay. So, yes, definitely like it. I love the people here. Um, everybody really nice. I'm oh, enjoying my time. Good, yes. good, good. Okay, so tell us a little bit about being the first woman from Belarus to play in the WNBA. Obviously, it means a lot um, to your country. Oh, well, <clears throat> yes. Um, I... Um, was the first one, and uh, I guess I feel proudly to be the first one. Um, it was funny because when I went to school here, and um, I just had a lot of injuries, and a lot of people kind of didn't expect me to be in the WNBA. And uh, when I actually made it four years ago, it was a big, huge thing. So. I mean, it, it feels nice. Yeah, you came here at the age of 17. Um, but you have a bigger message for young ladies, and you want them to be determined. You want them to go for their dreams, because things didn't always come easy for you. As you mentioned, you had to fight quite hard to make it to the WNBA. True. True. Um, I came to America at the age of 17. Um, didn't speak any English, but I came here to pursue my dream of playing basketball. And, uh, you know, it took me a long way. Um, I didn't speak any English. I went to school. I learned, you know, um, English and, and went to classes. And I just feel like that um, being in America, you can do a lot of things. And uh, me not knowing English, going to school, I feel like a lot of young ladies, you know, can do that. And America, just a country such a full of opportunities. I feel like here you can do a lot of things. Wow, absolutely. And I just want to bring that message to young ladies. Yeah, and, and you know what? They, they can never hear it enough. Um, tell me a little bit about your modeling career now, because you're six foot five. Yes. Um, you're a tall. With the heels. Yeah, well, you're a tall <laughs> drink of water. Um, but 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 some young ladies don't always feel comfortable in their bodies. So that's where the self-esteem component comes in, and you want them to feel comfortable with themselves as you do. Yes, um, I was always the tallest one when, before I even started playing basketball, I was always never been skinny. Always been the big girl, you know, my height. Um, and uh, I was always, you know, never had nice clothes. You know, I grew up not in the rich area. My mm -hmm. family was, you know, not rich. And um, when I grew up, um, I felt always different. You know, I never mm -hmm. feel like I could never fit in. And um, the older I got when I came to America, you know, and uh, look at myself now, what I went through, you know, it doesn't matter you know, what size you are, how tall you are, as long as you feel good, you know, about yourself, as long as you're healthy, and I'm always trying to bring that message, you know, trying to be healthy, trying to feel good inside, and people from outside will see that. And that's yeah. how I try to be. Yeah, because we shouldn't get caught up in weight. I mean, because muscle is much heavier. Yes, and I always <laughs> say, you know, um, lifting weights and trying to work out, and uh, the more muscle you have, mm -hmm. the less fat you have. And muscle weighs more than fat, and I always say, I don't care how much I weigh. Right. On my right. Body mass. Tell me a little bit about the cool sister and um, the folks that are going to be uh, courtside with you at the Atlanta Dream Games. You're going to have some special guests there. Yes, I recently um, started working with Cool Girls. It's a um, program, after school program from young ladies. Uh, it's a uh, it works on their self, it's a self-empowerment of young ladies where they work, work on their self-esteem and it teaches them a lot of life lessons. And I'm looking forward to working more with them and actually being a cool sister where mm -hmm. I get opportunity to pair up with a, with a young lady and just kind of mentoring her and uh, really looking forward to that experience. And um, actually looking forward for them coming to one of my shoot arounds or one of my practices and spending oh, nice. more time with them, introducing to some of my teammates. Oh, and nice. definitely. Looking for them coming to the games and, and, and enjoying experience. I, I always feel like it's different when they know personally somebody mm -hmm. and then they can't watch them Absolutely. play. It, it's totally different experience because I've been there. So yeah. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Wow. Okay. Let me ask you a little bit about this NBA thing. Okay. Because the, the money is a whole lot different. Yes. Um, it brings us back to the whole Title IX argument. Yes. Almost. <laughs> um, with LeBron James leaving Cleveland, um, the, the salary caps, I mean, it's millions and millions of dollars. Not the the same for the WNBA. I mean, um, what does it take to get, um, and I don't know if you could ever get the pay scales equal, but what would it take to even raise the pay scale? Uh, well, you know, first of all, after Title IX, I think we are really blessed to have a league, you know, and I just, you know, 
blessed to be playing WNBA and it's where you where the best players played and it was at some point that we thought we're not going to have a league so you know if you start looking at that we're happy to even be in the league and of course all of us want to you know, have a bit of be bigger paychecks. I mean, it's not like NBA, but I think the more people we bring, the more people will see how much we get on the community and we're trying to be involved mm. with kids and, and be out there. And hopefully things maybe will change. I mean, we would love to, but at the same time, I just feel blessed to to have a job, absolutely, you know, absolutely. to play in the WNBA and compete against the best athletes in the world, so. Yeah, what, what, what if the three best players in the WNBA decided to all go to one team? <laughs> how how would what would the reaction be like in the locker room? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it, it wouldn't be pretty, huh? No, it definitely wouldn't be. <laughs> Yelena, what a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for wow. having me. Yeah, enjoy chatting with you. Well, join Yelena and the Atlanta Dream for Dream Pink, benefiting the Avon Breast Health Center at Grady on August 3rd as the Dream hosts the Washington Mystics at 730. Players will be wearing pink uniforms and fans can bid on the players' pink jerseys and other donated items during the silent auction at the game. For more info, go to myfoxatlanta.com.